because I couldn't distinguish between fealty to either country. So anyway, I mean, we're going on track here. And with cricket as well, the good thing is that, it, well, this is the classic question. If India and England played, who would I support? And the truth is probably India. But if England played anyone other than India, I would support them. That's the honest answer. I'd support England. But the good thing is that I would support England-India in a way that I could actually appreciate the cricket that they both played. No, I, 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 I love I, both I, countries. I, I get that. I, I, get that. I, um, love, I, I love them both. So, and, you know. But, but, yeah, but, so, but I want to go back to the thing is, is Donald Trump a racist? And I think he may very well be. I and think, I think he is. most people are, invariably are. In a a lot of people Even though we can are more than they and, tend and, and, to and admit. And I think yeah. when we say racial, we're racist, I think when we put people into certain category of groups, as a group, we could probably be quite racist, but individually, yeah. we don't have to be. You know, no, I at the risk of so. saying, oh, my best friend is black. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Which, well, is, no, which, I, is quite, which is quite a common one. Some people use to justify yeah. their fact that they're not racist. So individually, but the thing is, as groups, do, will we put people into a certain group? And I brought this up a few years ago because um, I, no, I brought this up with one of our podcasts in the past. Um, and it's to do with, um, you know, our, our subconscious in a lot of ways because... If you, you know, I say you've got Epoch and Epac uh, sort of running through Savannah, uh, you know, during the caveman days and Epoch gets eaten by a saber-toothed tiger, the next time Epoch goes, e Epac goes out after his friends got eaten by a saber-toothed tiger and sees the saber-toothed tiger, what's his first reaction going to be? Yeah. Is that going to be one of, oh, not every saber-toothed tiger is yeah, the same, yeah. or is he going to actually respond with a level of fear that is based around his amygdala, his amygdala being activated? Which is emotion, remember? Which is, which is emotion. So, when, so, you know, so let's say you've had, let's say hypothetically you've had a terrorist attack over here, and, um, and I think it actually happened when we had the 7-7 seven -seven bombings over here, and a week after... London Bridge. Uh, and, uh, yes, London Bridge, but a week after the 7-7 seven -seven attacks, there was a guy who was asked to be stopped I think his name was um, uh, Mendez or something, he was Brazilian mm. and he was wearing a backpack on the underground and he was asked to stop by the police and he wouldn't stop um, and basically he got shot seven times in the head or something, or six yeah, times in the head remember that? Overreaction uh, It was an overreaction, but the thing is, is that reaction, was that a reaction based on emotion, based on Actually, every time, for let's face it, there was a, I, I'm glad there was a few people who, you, who saw a fitness first backpack on someone's back, which mm. I think about fitness first backpacks where they were right. using the bombings, on the back of someone who looked predominantly okay, Muslim. Let's, let's focus. Is, let's that, is, that, is that going to actually have an impact on your... Education is the enemy of, you know, um, uh, uh, emotional reactions. Educating yourself and rationalizing things and taking the time to process them really should help overcome but it's that. And I think it's quite you, you, be, you, you it is an interesting distinction that the countries that tend to that these that people tend to uh, actually succeed in being racist as leaders tend to have a problem with education in my opinion. You know, I find it's a very effective uh, component. Like I'm I'm not stereotyping but Genuinely, to be racist is to be irrational on some level. There is a Look, irrationality whether, involved. Whether, right? whether, whether, you're, whether you're a white supremacist who complains about different races taking their jobs and things like that, mm. that's very much sort of very small-mindedness, which is never going to get you at uh, get a reason for racism. Any more, any, any, any more than certain black people in America sort of blaming white people for white privilege, for example. As mm. soon as you start thinking that way, you've already put yourself as a disadvantage. And those both the extremes are the same things. It's blame, blame someone else and justify the reason why you haven't got what you have is because of because it's someone else's fault. Yes. Because right now in this country, I've got to say, you can go online, you can go onto YouTube, and if you really wanted to, as a skill, hypothetically, let's pick a skill. You could learn website development on WordPress, for example, and you could go out and make a living out of that. India did that. Hmm? India thrived on the fact that piracy exists. Sorry, the That's reason right. that uh, India's largest export is human capital, that accounts for, at one point, I can't remember if this is very recent, 16% of its GDP right. is people that they sent abroad that repatriate funds. Now, how did these people get educated? Because I guarantee you they didn't all go to college. 
and it's because piracy of online programs is rife uh, books and they teach themselves and they're self-taught and then they find a career through programming because programming is like a language you can teach yourself of course you can and they make the most of the opportunity and you can okay, make we, have, we right need now. to focus on this on uh, the issue of uh, what we're talking about which is racism free speech did you say is your best friend a black guy or were you just using that as an example actually no your best man in my wedding was black okay and well, well, yeah, but that, that's that's uh, that's inconsequential what, what, my best friend's a white guy well yeah <laughs> but 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 if you why is he your best friend why mm -hmm. um because of his values Got um, it. okay so you share values we share, we share commonalities exactly yeah. so that's very very important and uh, is it the same for you yogi yeah so my best friends are uh um well he's white polish and uh my other best friend who's like a brother is muslim and another one is sindhi indian like me they they have things in common yes they have liberal values like myself um but the one thing they have in common is that we all have in common is we want to be better we want to grow that's what our that's what we come together we push ourselves to achieve and be the best we can so you see again shared value and identity so you you integrate with each other now the, the difficulty is that humans don't do this naturally so if you're if you see yourself as different you don't which is why as we said countless times before there are so many pockets of ethnicity throughout london um, and that's that's just a fact now you can overcome it on a personal level but and the, but the key thing is your friends of different ethnic origins are friends with you because you share the same values on group level you'll eventually you, you'll you'll normally transcend to the That's area it. that you are most spot on um where you feel most tribal or most orientated yeah so so it, what again what trump did is he's playing the natural in uh, instinct of r racism in people to win the next election because if he if he wanted to make a very serious direct point he should have said if you don't like it here go somewhere else that you prefer um, I was thinking about what you said that your friends have shared values with you and I was thinking do they have shared values with each other and I realized actually it's not all our values aren't shared it's just that we find the values that we have in common and use that as a platform to, to build friendship. I don't think you can be friends with someone you have absolutely nothing in common with. But you can be friends with someone as long as you have some shared values. Well, but in society... You know, you know, it, but in society, yeah. let, let me just finish, is we do all share some common values, yeah. but not all. But you know what's really interesting, for example, if you actually take Freemasonry now, which is the probably the largest and probably longest society or fraternal society in the world. And um, basically they actually have two rules. You're not allowed to discuss religion or, you know, or politics. But their common values is actually its belief in a supreme being, Super. Wh wh whatever it is. But there's no, th you're not allowed to discuss those two matters. So th they because remove it's all difference. About, it's all for them, it's all about maintaining harmony. You see, they've got it. Whereas football teams is the complete opposite. You're, you, you, but you, what you have is you're perfectly united with your fellow supporters, and you are, you are, you, you are eternal foes of the of the um, of the of the team that you're playing That's against. Right. It is money. They, they 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 do they do a lot of money making yeah. over there. I mean, yeah. and, and you and you have got the foot soldiers and you got the people who are actually really smart and making money. But there's it. really interesting point I just thought of that there is good business in setting up adversarial complexes in society. Is. And why not extrapolate this well, to the world stage? It creates create a market space, a different market yeah. space, isn't it? Fear is what people use, isn't it? It's like uh, whenever whenever a uh, president or a prime minister needs more power uh, or more belief from the people they just create they create yeah. a fear t for them so to rally behind if you actually had arsenal and chelsea let's say used to get into loads of fights in the yeah. earlier days but the thing is when it became england playing 
Oh yeah, they, be they, they became England other. supporters, yep. and, and yep. obviously they wore the same colour shirts, and they were part of the same thing. But that's what and we need. Quite common, and, and, but also, about, this is also around the other countries. Um, this is the power of sense of belonging, isn't it? Foes. This is exactly the point I was making. A foe, if they find a commonality, then they become best friends, and, well, and therefore, yeah. in a country, anyone can be integrated as long as they are willing. To accept that integration, yeah, accept we'll the rules of that country. What's that old saying? The enemy of my enemy, the enemy of my enemy is my He's friend. My friend, yeah. And mm -hmm. actually, I, uh, I, I've experienced alliances. That. That's it not friendship. That's alliance. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's it not becomes friendship. a common value at that point. Mm -hmm. Does it? Which is the enemy? That you both hate that person. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, yes, and it could very well be. Yeah, but that's but not but true friendship. If you actually ever uh, wanted to unite the whole world, what we really need is a Nathan attack, so we could actually yes. unite under one country. No, that's exactly that's right. It's really going to happen. But I, I also think that commonalities before used to um, be down to sharing the same country. And now with social media, I just don't think that's the case anymore. I think there's certain global values that, are, that people would like to override. Unfortunately, no one's figured out how those global values look like in or applied in a country. You can actually have global value. You can. But it's not global value because it's cultural. Well, well, the thing What's is, best think about the it. Earth, the environmental think about movement. It. No, so no, no. The, the, this is one example that everyone in the world can share that we don't want the destruction of our environment, the planet Earth. And you're seeing alliances across countries of people coming together to fight, um, you know, pollu b uh, pol polluting, create pollution creating. Yeah, but that's that's uh, uh, that would only work if every single country was on board, and they're not. They they're trying to. They're trying to be. I mean, the problem. So it's failing. It's no. I think if Trump trying, is saying. That means they're no, failing. Well, think about it. If Trump says we are not complying because China is not complying, really. And they really aren't. No one, you know, there's no. I don't think India either. Are, are I don't they? think India is either. No. But India, India has the advantage of, of being more rural. So actually, they are complying. Yeah. Well, actually, it's interesting because I was listening to a guy called Dinesh D'Souza, who's. Um, oh yeah. I, I, he's a uh, he's a political he's a conservative political commentator. He's an American now, but he's a, originally came over from India, and he said, and he says if um, he says if there was, if the options were for people in India to not starve and actually have a f some form of pollution, um, then they would be more likely that starvation would be the biggest priority because, let's face it, if IKEA opened up a factory in somewhere in India, the queues would be, out, the queues would be a mile long because no one would really give a damn about the environment right. as long as they would actually be able to feed so themselves. So it depends what your priorities you see. And, At and that time. And, and that's the, the, one of the problems with the EU because the EU seeks to impose... Um, it's it, it's its own by force its own value on the, the entire European community, without understanding that actually people have their own values or countries have their own identity values, um, and therefore challenging that is going to lead to violent rejection, which is exactly what's happening, um, and therefore the key, the key thing to understand. I mean, Yogi brought out a very very important point, but it depends on what is your in your anxiety reduction hierarchy. So, for instance, an alien attack would be a very good way of uniting the entire world. But at the moment, climate change protesters, uh, peop people have a lot more priority about, like religion is higher up the hierarchy than climate change. And I wonder who's going to go and talk about religion. No, I'm just, that's just an example. Um, so there are many things more important in the hierarchy than climate change, which is why climate change isn't a, isn't a world unifier at the moment. Oh, look, I mean, I, I had mixed there feelings is. about it because when Dinesh D'Souza talked about this, people starving and actually what's a priority, actually I, I, I could probably resonate with what he said. But then I say when I see a YouTube video when there is, um, and talking about the environment, when we see a, a straw stuck up a sea turtle's nose yeah. because the amount of plastic that's in the sea, for example, I've got to say it leaves me with very mixed feelings about it. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I, I actually agree with the vegan ethos. I just find it really difficult to be a vegan. vegan ethos. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. Well, I I actually don't disagree with eating meat um, as a natural, uh, you know, as a, as as something that's part of nature. Well, they're, they're animals with the imitation do it. meat now, right. aren't they? Which no, but animals eat meat, right? Lions and tigers eat meat. It's it's more about screwing up the ecosystem and the cruelty with which they're farmed, which I don't agree with. And yeah, I think I am hopefully working towards becoming vegan until they change that practice. 
Um, my red meat count is is reduced, but I don't. It's not the thing that drives my anxiety the most. That's what I'm. That's well, what I, I do, I do, I'm doing a ketogenic diet. It's hard enough to go on a ketogenic diet. Yeah. Um,